Ever wondered why Greenland, the world's largest non-continental island, is called Greenland when it's mostly covered in ice? Today we're unraveling the mystery. You're about to join Fact Finder on an expedition through the icy landscapes and hidden stories of Greenland. Stay tuned for a journey that will challenge your perceptions and leave you wanting more. Let's dive into the secrets of Greenland. Let's kick things off by delving into Greenland's rich history. This island, situated in the unforgiving embrace of the Arctic and North Atlantic Oceans, has been witness to the eons of time. From the early Paleo-Eskimo peoples who first called it home around 2500 BC to the Norse explorers who left an indelible mark on its icy landscapes, Greenland's story is one that spans millennia. As we travel back in time, let's explore the footsteps of these early inhabitants. The Paleo-Eskimo peoples, also known as the Sak, were skilled hunters and navigators, adapting remarkably well to the harsh Arctic environment. Their descendants, the Greenlandic Inuit, continued this legacy, traversing icy landscapes using sleds and kayaks, hunting marine mammals like seals and whales. But it wasn't until the arrival of the Norse, led by the intrepid explorer Eric the Red, around 982 AD, that Greenland's history took a new turn. Fast forward to the present day and Greenland's is as rich and complex as historical roots. Far from being a monotonous terrain of endless ice, it's a vibrant mosaic of various geographical forms. The Greenland Ice Sheet, a remarkable icy expanse second only to the gigantic ice sheet of Antarctica, blankets approximately 80% of the island's total surface area. This massive ice sheet is an integral part of the island's climatic system, playing a crucial role in its unique biodiversity and ecosystem. Its scale and volume have a profound impact on global sea levels, and it acts as a colossal mirror, reflecting the sun's rays and helping to regulate the Earth's temperature. However, underneath this icy blanket and in the remaining 20% of the land, a dynamic and contrasting landscape unfolds. Rugged coastlines, towering mountains, and hidden valleys form a diverse geography that's teeming with life and beauty. These towering mountain ranges with peaks that challenge the heavens are a testament to nature's grandeur. They are not only breathtakingly beautiful, but also serve as habitats for a variety of unique Arctic species. Shattering the cliched image of Greenland as an icy wilderness, the diverse geography encompasses everything from these astounding mountain ranges to expansive valleys and vast plains. These valleys and plains carpeted with low-lying tundra are not just homes to a multitude of flora and fauna, but they also form natural pathways for glaciers and ice streams. Recent exploration and studies have peeled back the ice, revealing a much more intricate picture beneath the surface. Beneath the seemingly infinite ice, a complicated topography etches out a fascinating story. This submerged landscape comprises mountains, valleys, and plains in a bewildering array, painting a captivating picture of the land beneath the ice. One of the staggering discoveries made recently is the detection of what could potentially be the world's largest canyon, a geological marvel that stretches almost the whole length of Greenland. Hidden beneath the ice, this canyon is a testament to the dramatic geographical extremes that the island hosts. It adds another layer of mystique to this already enigmatic land, making it a veritable treasure trove for geographers and explorers alike. Truly Greenland is a land of extremes where nature's power and diversity are showcased in the most spectacular fashion above and below the ice. Let us delve deeper into the comparison between Greenland and its Nordic neighbors, Iceland, Norway, and Sweden. The aim is to shed more light on the question that often puzzles many. Why does Greenland, despite sharing a Nordic lineage, have such a low population density? The answer is far from straightforward, but it's tied to a medley of factors including its severe climate and isolated geographical location. Greenland is notorious for its extreme weather conditions. It experiences some of the chilliest temperatures on our planet, which presents a significant challenge for human habitation. Its geographical solitude also plays a substantial role. This makes it an anomaly among its Nordic counterparts, as Greenland's location makes it less accessible and devoid of the more temperable climates the Gulf Stream provides to others. Now let's turn our attention towards Iceland, Norway, and Sweden. Iceland, strategically positioned on the fringe of the Arctic Circle, endures frosty temperatures much like Greenland. However, a crucial exception lies in in geothermal activity that brings about a milder climate. In contrast, 
Norway and Sweden, despite sharing similar latitudes and icy climates, boast more habitable areas. These countries have been woven into the fabric of global trade routes for centuries, courtesy of their larger ice-free regions that facilitate transportation. Greenland, on the other hand, sits just north of the major Gulf Stream. This location puts it at a distinct disadvantage compared to its counterparts, as it does not benefit from any moderating influences. This geographical position, when coupled with its exceedingly harsh climate, significantly shrinks its habitable zones, rendering it less densely populated than its Nordic neighbors. Furthermore, Greenland's position just beyond the reach of the Gulf Stream's moderating influence makes its climate more severe, and its habitable areas more restricted. This combo of geographical isolation and extreme climate is a major factor contributing to Greenland's low population density. Isolation and Economic Factors Geographic isolation has been a double-edged sword for Greenland. Nestled between the Arctic and North Atlantic Oceans, Greenland has historically faced limited access to the outside world. This isolation, while preserving its unique culture and traditions, has also posed challenges. Migration and trade opportunities have been constrained, with the majority of Greenland's population concentrated on its west coast, closer to Canada than Europe. Economically, Greenland's opportunities are more limited compared to its Nordic counterparts. The island's economy is heavily dependent on fishing with limited diversification. The harsh climate and permafrost restrict agriculture, limiting food production and variety. Unlike countries with large populations that can either grow their own food or purchase it from others, Greenland finds itself in a challenging position due to its unique circumstances. Population Distribution and Naming Stories Let's explore the human side of Greenland. Population distribution is a key aspect, with over 56,000 people calling this vast island home. The majority reside in the capital, Nuuk, on the west coast, followed by settlements like Sisimiut, Umanak, and Kasigianguit. The rest of Greenland's population is scattered in smaller towns and villages along the western and southern coasts, highlighting the challenges of habitation in this extreme environment. Now let's unravel the mysteries behind the names Greenland and Iceland. Greenland, often imagined as a monolithic land of ice, is anything but green for most of the year. The naming story dates back to the Norse explorer Eric the Red. Legend has it that after being exiled from Iceland, Eric sailed westward and landed on the shores of this icy land around 982 AD. Eager to attract settlers, Eric dubbed it Greenland, possibly exaggerating its greenery during the brief summer. Iceland, on the other hand, got its name through a twist of fate. A Viking named Fee sailing from Norway faced a harsh winter on the island. Upon seeing a fjord filled with icebergs, he aptly named the land Iceland. Irony played its part as Iceland boasts not only glaciers but also green valleys, hot springs, and geothermal areas. Impact of Climate and Infrastructure Challenges as we wrap up our geographical exploration, it's evident that Greenland's challenges extend beyond its icy landscapes. The extreme climate, coupled with geographic isolation, impacts not only population distribution but also infrastructure development. The harsh terrain and climate make building and maintaining infrastructure a monumental task, affecting the quality of life and economic opportunities for Greenland's inhabitants. In other Arctic regions like Alaska, roads need frequent repaving due to harsh conditions, and Greenland faces similar infrastructural challenges. Connecting communities through fjords and challenging climates is an expensive endeavor, limiting the potential for growth and development. As we conclude our journey through Greenland's wonders, it's clear that this island is a tapestry woven with history, geography, and the resilience of its people. If you've enjoyed this exploration, if you find yourself marveling at the mysteries and complexities of Greenland, join the Fact Finder community. Hit that subscribe button, become a part of our growing family, and stay tuned for more captivating journeys of discovery. Thank you for being with us on this adventure. Until next time.